and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. It's been a slow, slow morning today. Um, I actually woke up about 8.30 and then my friend left at like 9 or half 9 because she needed to get back and she's like 3 hours away in Wales. My boot has come undone. <laughs> I need to tie it up. Oh, you're gonna tie it? Whoa! I see people doing this and I'm like, wow, that's so kind. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so my friend left at like 9 or 9.30 this morning. So we just got up. Toby's had loads of work to do again because he really wants to get all of his jobs done before we go to Paris on Tuesday. And thank you, honey. I had an acai bowl from the bowl shed for breakfast. Toby had some croissants. We just had Three. quite a slow. <laughs> <laughs> we had quite a slow morning and just a bit of a chill and it was really nice and I'm just feeling a bit rubbish today I don't know what's wrong with me I just feel really down I think I'm down about my camera it's just like really annoying me I keep trying to film around the house and it's just cannot focus the autofocus is broken I was debating like going back to the camera place and seeing if they can actually like repair it but I think it's just been too long now because I've had it for like a year and a half but it's just really stressing me out and I don't know I feel like a bit of a perfectionist with things and it's just stressing me out but I also well, felt I feel like perfectionist or not no one wants a blurry face no or like orange I have just been feeling really overwhelmed and really stressed so I was like right I'm just gonna try and sort some things out our like wardrobe room was really messy there was stuff everywhere I felt like the house was a bit of a mess there was a couple of cupboards in the kitchen that had just become a bit of a mess so I sorted the cupboards out I've spent a couple of hours in the wardrobe room just hiding stuff away. I got my suitcase out for Tuesday and I started just sort of putting some things aside that I want to pack because I just feel like I needed to do something to make me feel a little bit more organized. I need to edit yesterday's video and obviously we'll need to edit today's video later today too. But That's we what thought- we were going to do when we watched the football. Yeah, totally. I say when we watched the football, when I watched the football. Well, I always watch it. I didn't watch one match. Debatable. And I was watching it. I was just writing Christmas cards at the same time. I ordered a present for my secret Santa and my family, and I'm really glad I did that. We're going a weird way. Was it that teddy bear? Where are we going? Huh? I need to go to a cash machine to get the donation. Well, I might have it. Well, either way, we're... Oh, what oh. do you... Well, I think I have two pounds in it and I think I have two euros. What, so you can go in and I have to get outside? <laughs> well, unless they want payment in euros, I'm not sure. But also, I'm glad you said that because if we didn't need the donation, then I was totally going in the wrong way. I was heading towards the farm. It I know. Oh, look at that wallpaper. Oh, wow. God, you're very spying on people's houses. What, what are we meant to do? I don't know. I'm quite into it. Maybe I need to start looking more. Well. They're ready for football. God, I might have thought you were talking about him. Well, then clearly he That's what people say about me. Toby just told me off for getting changed in front of the window. It really stresses you out, doesn't it? No, not at all. I didn't tell you off. It's just funny that you, um, just whenever you get naked, you go over to the window. <laughs> I don't go over you to do. the window. I go and over to my drawer. <laughs> no, you go over to the window. Your drawer's there. And then your drawer's here. You get your stuff out. And then you're like... <laughs> and then when, when you get a, um get a delivery you go over to the big french windows and just get naked french windows oh for god's sake so if i get like a clothes delivery i'll quickly just try everything on and um the neighbors love us no one sees i know no one's looking i have a little glance and see but no one can really see anyway i don't think they can <laughs> what where's the cash machine oh and where's the sign oh okay i think that the the more you get to know someone or the longer time you spend with someone you know how you can like have different wavelengths waves yeah and you can have like different you can meet in tune with different things and you can be like on different vibrational levels i just genuinely think that toby and i are now we've morphed into the same person slash are on the same vibrational levels because anytime you think about something I'll go to say something and you'll say you'll say that you were just thinking about it or we'll say the same thing at the same time or talk about the same thing and say it's just really stressing you out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toby gets so embarrassed about filming in front of people. I don't know why but I don't care. Anyway, so it's become like a bit ridiculous now. I, I can't even think of an example. I'm not like aside from today. But like it just happens all the time and it's really weird. Anyway, today Toby asked me if there was anything specific that I wanted to get for Christmas, that I wanted to have for Christmas. 
and I was thinking, no, I can't really think of anything and I was like, I'll have a little look. And my friend, well, it was her birthday like a week ago, but I'm seeing her, her, I'm seeing her in like two weeks. I had a present in mind and I went to order it today and I changed my mind. I don't really know why. I'd had it in mind for ages, but I changed my mind. And I was like, I know, just completely randomly plucked it out of my head. I think I'm gonna look at the Caroline Herrera lipsticks that you kind of build yourself. So you get like the insert and then the cap and then you can get like tassels and charms and things to go on it. So I was like, I'm gonna have a look and just price it up and see how much it would be to get one of those. We probably saw those lipsticks like three months ago, because it wasn't last time I went to Harrods BT. Three, four months ago. Had a little glance, didn't really think much of it. And then I went into the office and I was like, oh, I was just having a little look at Caroline Herrera lipsticks. And Toby was like, are you actually kidding me? He was like, I've literally been looking at that for you um, to tell your secret Santa. So he showed me the tab he had open and we both literally had the same thing open, choosing or putting together a lipstick. And I was like, that is so bizarre because we were both doing it at exactly the same time having never talked about this and Toby even said he was like that's so weird because he said he'd chosen that because he was trying to think of something that I hadn't spoken about and that I wouldn't have thought of so same same brain same brain weird isn't it yeah. We're home. Um, Toby just popped out to the shop because there's a couple of things we needed. The uh, football's on later. He went to grab a beer and we needed some bin bags. So he's just gone to grab that. It's looking so festive behind me and I really like it. I thought I'd just quickly show you the things that we got. It's a, um, the place that we just went to is like a really small local, um, how do you describe it? It's basically like a, kind of like a warehouse, but I think it's a co-working space for like creative people. And it's quite, it's quite small and everyone kind of has their own area. And it's basically a fair Christmas market thing for them to showcase their artwork, um, products, whatever it is that they're making. And they have a few other people come down as well. So it's like a bit more, it was a little bit bigger this year than last year or in previous years but it is still really tiny and it's already local businesses. However, it's like two minutes from us and we really, really enjoy supporting local artists and uh, just people local in Bristol. We have a lot of Bristol art in our house and not only do we like sort of buying their products, but Toby works with a lot of people as well who are um, creative people in Bristol. So we always like to go down there and we always like to pick up a few things. I think last year I got like a necklace. That might have been the year before, I can't remember. I picked up some like dried flowers, some prints and like a necklace and bits and pieces. We always kind of end up getting like a Christmas present there. And this year we got this gorgeous candle. This candle is amazing, it's called Sweet Harmony. It's a hand poured candle. But I kid you not, it smells. It's, the scent is winter spice. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Buddy, you are gonna wanna smell this candle. Oh my God, this smell. This smell kind of reminds me of Christmas as a child. And I guess it's because my mum used to always dry out. You know like when um, you cook in the oven, like at a really low temperature and you dry all the oranges and you have like, orange and cinnamon and all of those scents. This smells exactly like that. Or you know when you go to a Christmas market and they have the either wreaths or garlands or just the sets of kind of like dried oranges and like cloves and all of that. It smells, oh my God. This is the best smelling Christmas candle I think I have ever, ever smelled. Yeah, Sweet Harmony Winter Spice. And it comes in really cute packaging. I like this little tube. Alright buddy, 
Toby really wanted to get a print, so he got this print. It's quite similar. He does a lot of courses uh, with a company called Motion Design School, and I think it reminded him of their style of illustration, which is why he really liked that one. And then we saw another company that had quite a few prints. She gave us some stickers as well. They're so cute. I love it when you get like little little cards and little stickers and things but we have two art prints from her and the reason why we wanted to get the two prints from her as well is they were framed and we have so many prints that we've bought over the years from local people but they're awkward sizes so you can't i'm just going to open the prints is that okay it's really annoying because we never have the right size frames and we have probably like at least 10 prints that just have gone nowhere because we don't have the right size frames so we've got this one that says i hope you're okay we thought he was so cute and then this one there's a there's a sunflower theme going on with good reason it like really reminds me of my grandmother who recently passed away so that's that's why the sunflowers are happening and we thought this was so cute it's like a little jug with sunflowers in and again framed prints are amazing because we don't have to buy the frames and find the sizing so that is what we got i think right now i'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate because i am well i'm actually really thirsty so i think i need to drink some water i had a little mulled wine you had a little beer really enjoyed the market much better than last year big improvement <laughs> I said I thought there was What's more people called? this year. I don't know, I can't Studio remember what it's called. Unit, Unit 8. Are you serious? What? You're just going to throw that down there like that? Yeah, I'm sure you'll pick it up. Wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these up. Have you shown the, um, the YouTube <laughs> our camera? Huh? Our new camera. Oh my god, I haven't. It's upstairs. We got a new camera today. We are camera obsessed, guys. I feel like we're just getting new cameras like every month, but this is a film camera and it's the Kodak Ektar and we just saw it and we were like, it's so cute and we have to have this. And weirdly, I had been saying that I really wanted to take my film camera with me to Paris because I feel like you take more pictures and you actually look at them and they're on film. Whereas when I take pictures on my phone, I don't look at anything. Um, my grandmother recently passed away and we were all gathered around like looking at all these photos. And I said, if anything like that happened, like, you know, if we pass away in like however many years, what are people gonna do? Get a phone out or get a hard drive out and start scrolling through pictures? Like no one's gonna do that. And it's just not the same. And I feel really sad about not having you know, we go away and we'll take loads of really nice pictures and then we'll never look at them. So we kind of wanted to do like a little scrapbook scenario and take more film photos, getting them developed and kind of putting them in like a photo album or like a scrapbook and actually having them to look at because I think I'd actually really enjoy looking back at our photos, but we just don't do it. So we got the Kodak Ektar because we wanted to get it before we go away and we just need to set it up and put like the film in it and stuff and just check it's all okay. But what's really good about the Kodak Ektar is that it does, it kind of splits each uh, frame into two photos so you can get double the amount of photos from a roll of film, which is just amazing. Is it like 72 photos yeah, or something? Photos she just tried to run and she just totally skidded. That's really funny. Are you okay, bud? Also, She's in excited. other new exciting things, got some tequila courtesy of Annika Lamond. Yeah, my friend just came back from Mexico and Toby asked her to get him a bottle of tequila and she got a reposado from a place that she went swimming in. Which, that sounds really weird. She, she, wanted, she was looking for a tequila and she wanted something a bit sentimental. Yeah, both of them are reposados, aren't they? What's that mini one? What I learned is it's, it's like the age so you can get a brown tequila and it won't be reposado because it'll be it's white. So it's if it's aged. And then reposado is like the next aging up. Then the next aging up for that is just that word, which is what I got Ben. My friend has been to Mexico, so she got us like a little mini bottle to share. But she's coming to set New Year, so we are going to. She's going to teach us how to drink this properly because when I was at uni, I literally had pre-drinks with my friend Em, who came to stay with me. And I'm not joking; I drank an entire bottle of tequila at pre-drinks, and I was the most drunk and the most ill I think I've ever been in my whole life. So I have never been able to actually drink tequila again. However, I'm really hoping that she can teach me how to drink it properly because this might be really good. Buddy's very excited about this packaging right now. 
She's really enjoying that. I'm also really excited about my outfit because I haven't worn these jeans in a long old time. But I've really enjoyed wearing my little Zara leopard, having a little leopard moment. And yeah, I think I'm going to make myself a hot chalk. And I have some editing to do and I have some blog stuff to do. So I'm going to get cracking on that and try and sort my life out, essentially. Ready, buddy? Ready for that? It's me again. I'm back. I totally forgot I hadn't done my advent calendar today. So I was just going to quickly do it now. Day number four. Let's go. Day number four. Let it glow, let it glow, let it glow. Summer Fridays. What is this CC Me Serum? Amazing. Thanks, Base NK. I really fancy hot chocolate, so I'm just going to quickly make one now. I'm going to have a little mince pie to go with it. And I thought, I've shown you this before, but I'm going to show you it again. The greatest thing I've ever bought. A Velvetizer. And I will just caveat that by saying, it is the greatest thing I've ever bought as someone who can't have milk and as someone who drinks hot chocolate all the time. Because one of my friends was like, oh, I really want to get one. And I was like, oh, do you drink hot chocolate a lot? And she was like, mm, not really. And I thought, it's probably just not worth it unless you do drink hot chocolate a lot. I drink them multiple times a week, especially over the festive season. I just can't get enough. And last year, I think it was last year I got it. I think it was before Christmas because... It was kind of leading up to Christmas, like Halloween, October time, and I was just buying hot chocolates all the time. And I was like, I need to get a Velvetizer because I'll probably actually save money. And I am so glad I got it because I love it. My favourite hot chocolate is the 70% because it is the lowest percentage I can have with before it kind of introduces milk. Because I think there's 50% or there might even be a 60 or 65 but then there's milk in it so 70 percent is the kind of lowest percentage before there's milk i love this flavor i also love the mint i also really like the chili chili is probably my second favorite and then mint is the third but i'm gonna make this one so first things first get the old velvetizer out and it's literally just everything goes in here you pour it from here it's amazing so i like to use or my milk of choice is either almond milk or gluten-free oat milk and i'm just a little worried that i might not actually have quite enough oh my god it's so close i think that'll be all right you know next thing is adding your chocolate now you can buy sachets and it's super easy because then you just chuck the entire sachet in and it's like done but I don't have the sachet today. I have, ooh, just the big old bag. How much do we need? I think it's two tablespoons. Oh, six heaped teaspoons. Is that about two tablespoons? All right, what do you think? I'm gonna do two heaped tablespoons and an extra little bit. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of just like flaked chocolate. And I did go through a bit of a phase where I would like put that on top of my breakfast, like on my porridge or whatever. Delicious. So you pop it, pop everything in there, the milk and the chocolate, pop it in, press the button and that is it. And it takes about a minute or maybe two minutes and it will be perfectly velvetized, the perfect temperature to drink, gorgeous, smooth, vegan hot chocolate. Yum! And it's finished. Quite it smells quite strong. I think I put a bit too much chocolate in there. And there you have it. A perfect hot chocolate. That's just because I didn't fill the milk all the way. But I'm curious to know, does anybody else always make the hot chocolate in the velvetizer cups? Because I feel like you just can't not. It's like the law. So I'm gonna have these now. Yummy!